Hey there, it's Ben Halsell here, and here in this series of two tutorials, we're going to have a look at how we create these smooth style titles in Final Cut Pro 10. The first tutorial is going to focus on the premium VFX smooth titles plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 that's available from FX Factory, who are kindly sponsoring this video. The second tutorial is going to be a kind of hands on dive into Apple Motion to look at how we create this style of title ourselves. So, how we do the animation, um, how we set up the, the type, and then also how we do the build in and build out um, in Apple Motion. So, if you're interested in creating your own titles, your own plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, then definitely check out the second in this series of two tutorials. Um, but without further ado, let's dive in and have a look at the premium VFX Smooth Titles plugin from FX Factory. So before working with the Premium VFX Smooth Titles plugin, I just wanted to show you the store for FX Factory. And one of the really nice things about this is that if you want to test out plugins or you want to follow along, for instance, with this tutorial, um, we can search for Smooth in here, which you can see I already have installed. Um, but you can see for the other plugins which I don't have purchased or installed, I can download a trial and try them out. So if you want to download FX Factory and follow along with this tutorial or test out any of the plugins that FX Factory has, then you can jump into the FX Factory store and install uh, the kind of free trials um, to test out plugins before you actually kind of go ahead and buy them. So I'm going to close out of this and we'll jump back into Final Cut Pro 10. And the FX Factory plugins are super easy to install or disable through the FX Factory app. So I have a few clips laid out on the timeline here uh, and we're just going to overlay our titles over this. Now, one reason I've chosen these kind of busier clips where there's a lot going on or where there's a lot of white is we're going to look at two things here. One is the smooth title uh, and the other is some of the overlays that you can use to kind of drop back the video so we can get that nice contrast between our title and our video. So before we get started here, we're going to go to Window, Workspaces, and then we're just going to set the default workspace just so that we're all looking at exactly the same layout on screen in Final Cut Pro 10. And then I'm going to jump up to the top left here where I find the titles and generators options up here. And inside the titles here, you'll see your list of kind of default titles. And if you've installed the Premium VFX Smooth Titles, you'll see those listed there as well. So basically, in the titles here, we have 20 different titles, and all of them have an excellent level of control over the position, over the color, over the flow of the animation. So we're going to grab one of these. So we'll grab this smooth title number 10 and we'll drop this onto our timeline now one nice thing about uh, these titles and most titles is that although this is only five seconds long if we need to hold it on screen a little bit longer we can stretch it out um, and you'll still get that animation happening within that same period of time and then happening at the end as well in the same period of time so basically um, if we select this title now on our timeline I'm going to shorten this back down to around five or six seconds that should be long enough. When you're modifying the title, you want to come to the middle of the title where the animation has sort of finished. And I'm going to select my background here and just disable it. So we'll just see the, the title. And to disable the background, just highlight it and tap the V key. So we've got our title selected here. And you can see straight away, we've got some nice kind of on-screen controllers for moving our title around so we can modify the position. We can also change the scale of our title and the angle of it as well. So all that is gonna kind of match up beautifully with the animation uh, when it kind of pops in. So the on-screen controller is really handy. And with any titles or plugins uh, for that matter, if you have moved things around or modified them, just come up to the inspector and we can hit the hooked arrow next to the position and the rotation and the scale uh, to reset it back to the default. So we can easily kind of reset our parameters there um, as we kind of move them around. I'm going to leave this a bit bigger so we can kind of really see what's happening here. So in here we have options for our text boxes. So we can type in some different text here. And we can go to each of the, the kind of three lines and modify them individually. So I've deliberately kind of added in a couple of challenging lengths of title here just to show how this works. So basically uh, in this central title here, we've got a couple of different options and um, we can change the size of our type here. Uh, obviously we can change the font uh, to any kind of font that we want. Um, we can also kind of modify the line spacing and stuff like that and the regular text options. But if we move down, you can see we have the option for these lines. So we can change uh, the X distance of those lines. So if we wanted to perhaps have our lines a little bit further out, 
because the text is bigger, we can kind of modify a couple of different things here so we match up our design as we want to. So I'm going to drop down the size of this type and we'll just increase the size of the other lines a little bit to kind of match up with it a bit better. And you can see we get this nice kind of control over the type size, but also of other elements um, of the design as well, such as the, the kind of spacing uh, here that we have. We can also modify the line thickness and line color as well. And then if we scroll down, you can see we've got some options for a uh, long shadow on here. We've also got some options for glow and 3D um, extrusion. Um, within the, the type options as well, we also have kind of control over the position um, of the type too. So we can kind of tighten up our lines a little bit as we increase our font size. I'd really recommend when you're using this plugin, making sure you just use the controls here to kind of modify the overall type and the type position and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to kind of get that kind of nice level of control over everything. So you can see we've kind of got these lined up nicely. If we come back to the beginning, we'll see that animation happening. So we have the animation in and out, which we can turn on and off as well here. So if you want this to hang on screen for longer or stay in position until a, an edit, then we can have no build out set up there. So you can see it will just kind of cut to the next clip. So let's pull this back. We'll turn on our build out. Um, you can see as well as the on screen controllers here, um, we have options for the position uh, here as well. So we can kind of modify things manually. If we want to kind of match the size from clip to clip, uh, then we can do that too. And then we can also modify the color. So I'm going to turn my background back on here, just tap the V key with it selected. And this kind of highlights one of the main issues um, when you overlay type over an image, and that is the contrast. And that's where Smooth Titles has a real kind of nice built-in solution to this. So we have uh, some motion blur here, uh, but we also have these kind of background overlay effects. So we're going to drop this down between the clip and our title. Yeah, and you can see right away we've got this kind of dark background uh, behind our text. But if we highlight the BG overlay effect, uh, you can see we'll just pull the type right to the middle um, that we have a whole ton of options here. So we can change the opacity of our background color uh, and that may be enough. So basically you can see there's a build in and build out for this as well. So if we play this through from the beginning, you can see that's going to kind of drop the background back and make the type stand out. And then as it fades out, we'll kind of fade back in to our clips there. So that's a super kind of nice solution for overlaying this text. We also, which is super cool, have a blur there as well, which allows us to blur that background. So you can see now, not only do we get that kind of color overlay, we get a blur as well, which is really gonna help the text to stand out on a busy background like this, but still give you that kind of sense of the image in the background. We also have uh, this option here to make the image black and white, which is basically going to grayscale the image. And where this is nice is we can modify the contrast of the image. So we can really kind of push this back. And what I found with the smooth titles and with overlaying any titles over a background is that once we've done that, if we come to our color here, if we select a, a color, and we'll just drop the opacity here. We can kind of bring that color into the background there. Let's choose a bit more of a complementary color. We'll go for this kind of darker magenta. And you can see now we get that real nice contrast between the, the foreground and background. And again, we will look in the second of this series of two videos how to do this effect in Final Cut Pro 10. But this is a super useful feature that's built into the Premium VFX plugin and that's definitely useful and definitely something that I've been doing manually for a lot of years. So really, when you're thinking about plugins or kind of purchasing different plugins, what you want to do is have a look at how they're going to save you time. So are you going to save a lot of time keyframing and animating by using this plugin? And I think with the Smooth Titles plugin, the answer to that is definitely yes. We have a lot of that complicated animation kind of built in here by default, which is going to make that whole process of adding titles a lot easier. So let's just come back to the middle here. We'll come back to our title and I just want to have a look at changing the color here. So we're going to change the color of the line around the world and we will change this with our color picker here. So we'll try, we'll try a brighter yellow like this. And then you'll see we've got two colors um, here as well. So basically the first color, if we come back to the beginning of this animation, 
is the color outside um, of the line. So basically you can see we've got the two colors there. So if I go to color one, I'm gonna click here and actually I'm gonna kind of make this a little bit more hidden. So I'm gonna select my eyedropper tool here and we'll grab this lighter purple in the background and just brighten that up. So now you can see we get this nice kind of subtle reveal the type and it kind of matches the color in the background until the yellow of that type is revealed. So we can use that uh, to kind of good effect here. So if we click in here, let's drag this yellow across to our swatches here in our colors. And that means that now if we come to the green here, we can reuse that yellow. So if we come back to the animated portion here, and this will work for any plugin, not just the Smooth Titles plugin, but basically we can use that color picker by clicking on the rectangle here to actually save colors and kind of use them and reuse them in a project. So you can see now we get the, the yellow in there and the purple and then it jumps to the white. And for anyone who has had a go at making their own plugins in Apple Motion, you can really see the benefit uh, and the kind of time that's gone into thinking about all the tiny little details, the things you need to change when you're designing a project such as color, such as the flow of the animation, the length of the type. And that's what I really like about the Smooth Titles plugin here is that we don't need to go outside of it to actually modify the type or anything like that, modify it to kind of match the style of our video. So let's have a look at one other Smooth Titles plugin here. So we will just kind of jump through these and we've got some kind of nice simple ones here. And you can see they've all got this similar theme. So we've got the kind of two colors that we can choose there for each of the pieces of type and then kind of animation in and out. So let's go for one of the ones down the bottom here. Let's go for Smooth Title 20. I like the kind of circular look of that. I'm gonna stretch it out to slow it out a little bit. So basically you can see same type of thing, animation on. And if we highlight this, you can see we've got those similar options um, up here as well. So in here as well, we can modify the, the text. So we'll just type something in. So basically, um, you can see we've got the color for our text. Let's grab something here. We'll actually click here and we'll pick out a color, this green from the mug here. And we're gonna put a background on there. So we're not too worried about the fact that we can't really see it, but I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna come to the color down here for my circle we click there, we can select that color, and then we're gonna to come to our slider. So I'm gonna to come to the hue, saturation, and brightness slider. So you might see RGB or CMYK there. We're gonna choose the hue, saturation, and brightness sliders. And if we just increase the brightness, we're matching the color between these two. Let's just disable that. So you can see we've got that nice kind of dark green, coffee tour, and then the green of the outline are kind of matching because we just use the brightness to kind of modify uh, the color there. So let's enable that and we will come to our Premium VFX Smooth Titles and we'll drag the background overlay down here and we'll quickly change the opacity and we will turn the black and white on. We'll take down the contrast, turn on the blur and then we're just going to have a play around with the color here to kind of find a a good spot so you can see if we kind of head towards the whites a little bit here we can find a nice color or we can click on this box select the color we used before so that green and if we dial this all the way up then we still have that kind of hue matching between the foreground color the text and the circle and that's going to look quite nice so we can modify the opacity there so that we can see more or less of the, the background image. So we get that nice kind of contrast. And then also this kind of nice color matching through different parts of your video. And so there's a few things we've covered there when you're using a Smooth Titles plugin from Premium VFX. Uh, but if you do have any questions about it or things aren't working for you, then please do leave a, a comment below. Otherwise, definitely do go and check out the second in this series of two videos that is gonna cover how you create these types of type and graphics animations 
in Apple Motion and create a plugin for Final Cut Pro 10. So hopefully this tutorial has been useful in seeing how a kind of advanced plugin works. And now we're going to go and have a look at how we create our own version of this.